cleaners are losers, unskilled and uneducated. These are some of the stigmas that people in our industry are faced with every day. In this video, we're going to share a few things that have helped us battle these stigmas and will hopefully help you do the same. So did you know that there are 1.5 million people in the United States that are cleaning? And even though there are that many people cleaning in this country, it's still considered an undesirable occupation. So you have to ask yourself, well, why? And what do we do to be able to dispose of all of these negative feelings? And after 30 years of being in this industry, I have a lot of examples of things that have happened to me, a lot of comments that have been made. And the sole purpose that I do what I do every day is to protect those who think that they are less than in this industry. So the first tip that I would give is be a professional. So when you think of the term professional, what does that really look like? Well, in this industry, you're working at night and what happens way too often is that people think, well, no one's ever gonna see me at a building. So do I really need to be in a uniform? Do I need to have my hair brushed or have been cleanly shaven or whatever the case may be? What does it look like to be a professional in this industry? Well, what it looks like is you're in some recognizable uniform that you're using equipment and product that is clean and in good condition, that you have products that have labels on it. Another important part about it being a professional is, is your janitorial closet clean and organized? You must use commercial grade products, have them labeled and have your janitorial closets look clean because when your prospect or customer or someone comes into the building or is looking from the outside and sees you in uniform using state of the industry equipment and products, they're gonna recognize you as a professional. In order for us to change the stigmas in this industry, you need to start with you. And that means that you believe that you are a professional in this industry. And when you hire people, to work for you, you treat them with dignity and respect. You give them the time and training that they need. You give them the tools that they need. You give them the products that they need. And most importantly, you give them the support that they need. When someone speaks to one of your employees in a way that is disrespectful, it's your job to make sure that person knows that these are professionals too. Most of the work that we're doing is going to be in the evenings when your customers are not around. And so what we find ourselves being are the invisible partners. But what that also means is that what they really recognize you as is an empty trash can and a desk that's been dusted and toilet paper that's been filled. You're not a person. So the next tip I would give you is when you're a professional in this industry and you want to be treated as one, you need to go in and see your customers. Meaning that if it's a casual work environment, wear a nice polo with it tucked in with a pair of slacks. If it's a, a very professional um, you know, type of industry that you're going into, then maybe you need to wear a tie. But whatever it is, it's important that you are going in, in the same, at the same level that that prospect or customer is at. So you wanna be a professional and you wanna be visible to them. It's important that you're educating your customer and those around you about what it is that you do. The cleaning industry is just like any other business industry. It requires a business owner, a franchise owner, and to know a lot of things about not only the business of cleaning, but the business of business. You're in a very difficult industry, an industry that requires a lot of knowledge about compliance, especially following the pandemic that we are just out of. You need to know what the health codes are, what the requirements are for PPE, etc. They also don't realize that you're having to handle all of your own accounting, you're having to handle customer service issues, you're having to handle sales. 
You are a professional in what you do and you deserve the respect of being a professional in your industry. If you truly want to transform the way that people look at what you do, you must stand up for who you are and what you do in this industry. It is not going to be tolerated for someone to talk down to you. You are a tradesperson, you are a professional, and you are providing a service that is keeping many, many people safe. What you do is essential, what you do is important, what you do is changing the way that people behave every single day. Never give in to how other people treat you or how other people treat your employees. You are the one who changes that every single day. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that the tips that we discussed today will help you be more confident about what you do. Let's work together to change the narrative around being a cleaner. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.